What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and you have to give credit where credit is due. You have to give credit where credit is due. And Feltron made a very, very interesting discovery when it came to the pre-sale of Terrarium. Now, I personally like this project. I think that it could do very well. It's a great idea. Website looks clean. It looks like they have a good team on their hands. But keep in mind, there are people on their team that were from the Saitama side, right? They were from the Saitama side. Now, if you want to really go in depth on the Etherscan, I'm going to put a link in the description down below to a video by the Crypto Realist and Sandstorm. They dug deep and figured it all out, right? I'll explain it to you in layman's term, but pretty much, right? So there's a pre-sale for Terrarium. It launches tomorrow, right? I actually got onto the pre-sale for about 0.70. So very, very small. But check this out. If you want to get on this pre-sale, the max amount you can put supposedly is 10 ETH, right? So doesn't matter how much you want to put, the max amount is 10 ETH. But that's only for one wallet. Well, in cryptocurrency, how easy is it for you to make multiple wallets? Super, super easy. Well, I'm not sure if Feltron did this research himself, whatever. But apparently, right, a Saitama whale, a Saitama whale that currently owns Saitama, you can see right here, has about $2.3 million worth of Saitama, who's been dumping on the project ever since, you know, they made their money on Saitama. But to be fair, most, if not all of these Saitama whales, all they do is dump Saitama, right? Every time there's a price pump, they dump a little more because obviously they can't all dump at once. There's not enough liquidity, right? It doesn't work like that. But they've been dumping Saitama all along the way. And you're going to see that going forward, right? More whales are going to dump Saitama as soon as there's more price action. That's just the name of the game. But he found out that this person made a bunch of wallets for about 10 ETH, right? Because he's making different wallets to get in on this pre-sale. So this person made a ton of wallets, right? I don't know how many, a lot, right? A lot, right? But obviously they're playing the system, right? All of these wallets, these 10 Ether wallets, right? Are going to be on the pre-sale of Terrarium. Now, what is the issue there? What is the issue? That means one person controls a vast majority of the initial the initial ETH that's going into this project. That is not good, objectively. Now, could this person technically have, you know, given these wallets to their family members? Maybe he's trying to help them out. Yeah, sure, if you're, if you're into charity work. But is that realistic? No, that's not realistic. That is very suspicious. But what can you do about this if you're the Terrarium team, right? What can you do? I'm not sure, actually, what things you can do to stop this. Because, I mean, who's to stop people from putting more than 10 ETH, you know, or excuse me, making more than one wallet and getting in on this project? I'm sure multiple people have done this before, right? And what they do is that maybe they'll cre create a couple, maybe two, three, maybe even five, right? But this many? This is insane to me and it looks a little suspicious. Now, like I said before, I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but a lot of these people do come from Saitama. Now, a theory could be that this is just a way to make money, just a money grab, right? They're gonna start draining this project as time goes on. They're gonna pump it high, it's gonna dump, right? Which could let, you know, enable people to make some money along the way, which is like what we want, right? But this also could be sabotage right there could be some sort of gamesmanship going on here with a saitama whale wanting to get in on this pre-sale to tank this price because there could be some bad blood i know that dr william right here at least this guy was you know a big saitama guy i'm not sure if he is anymore um Faltron is saying it's this guy's wallet but we don't know that the thing is like we don't know that we don't know what's going on but what we do know is that one person has a ton of this stuff so we're gonna have to see what happens. Tomorrow is the launch. I'm gonna be live for it. So if you wanna come hang out with me, you can. I think it's gonna be at 8.30 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be here for the Terrarium launch just to see the shit show or to see this thing go to the moon. Now, there's gonna be a pump and dump at launch, but usually a good project with good holders, right, with good intentions, it's gonna pump, then dump, and then pump. It's gonna keep doing that all the way up, right? That's what good projects do. Now, there is an argument, right? There is an argument to ha not have pre-sales anymore because things like this happens and there's really no way to stop this there's no way right unless you have someone actively on here looking through wallets being like okay well no this person bought through another wallet right or we can see the the, the link here right you can't you can't get in right so it'd make it harder for people to do it but if people really wanted to they could just make you know they, they could have a coinbase account and send it to you know 10 eth to like 10 different wallets and get in that way. So it's not all linked to one wallet on the decentralized, you know, world in the centralized world, right? So it's, it's tough to, to fight against this and mitigate it. But at the same time, 
It's like there's an argument for not having pre-sales. Now, it's an interesting argument because pre-sales are good because it lets people who, you know, believe in this project, um, you know, kind of get a jump on people, right? Because at the end of the day, they're angel investors. So this thing could go into the dirt and they could lose all their money. But this project can go to the moon and they can get greatly rewarded. And this is the issue we're seeing with Shibnobi, right? Shinja, the whole Shinja issue is that, you know, people who put in the initial liquidity, you know, it, it contributed to the presale are dumping the project massively along the way, right? Um, but, you know, their their agreements were a little different. As far as I know, these guys are not going to be getting airdrops. Shibnobi, they're getting airdrops along the way, which looks even more suspicious, right? To be, to be honest, right? That's an issue. I made a video about it. You can check it up here. I made a whole video on the Shibnobi wallet situation. We're going to have to see what happens. Is this a serious project? It's a fantastic idea. You know, these guys, a lot of these guys came from Saitama. It's similar to Saitama, right? It's similar. A uh, direct competitor, is it sabotage? Is it shadiness? Uh, is it just a money grab? Who knows? All I know is I'm here for it, baby. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Very, very interesting conversation. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.